It is a true mixture of politics and religion. Last week, First Baptist Dallas Pastor Robert Jeffress shared a stage with the president. Jeffress was a strong Trump supporter. He is also part of the overwhelming evangelical support that helped propel the president to victory in the first place. President Trump has rewarded some of those loyalists with strong religious credentials, selecting Mike Pence for vice president, nominating Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court, and appointing Betsy DeVos as secretary of education. Uh, we want you to get your phones ready right Right now because we'd like to hear what you think about this topic here. Should politics and religion mix? Go to the WFAA app right now to cast your vote. We're going to have the results here in just a few minutes. First, though, listen in as News 8's Hannah Davis uh, sits down one on one with Pastor Jeffress. Most Sundays, you'll find Dr. Robert Jeffers preaching at First Baptist Church in downtown Dallas. But last week, he took his pulpit and some 300 Texans to his church's Celebrate Freedom concert in Washington, D.C. A great leader, a great patriot, my friend, the President of the United States of America, President Donald Trump. Jeffers was one of the first evangelicals to publicly support Donald Trump a loyalty that earned him a spot advising the president on religious policy. I consider him a friend, he considers me a friend, and I'm happy to have that friendship with the president. This is some group, some group. A little concerned, just what type of president would this be? Not all evangelicals were so quickly won over. Mark LaVorne says initially he didn't know what to make of a President Trump, but last week's trip, changed his mind. As our pastor has said, we didn't elect him to be the Sunday school teacher or even the pastor of a church. We elected him to lead the way, to be a warrior, to be a defender of things that we love. Primarily our freedom to worship as we please and to lift up the Lord Jesus Christ in any venue. We've allowed secularists and liberals to pervert the First Amendment into something our founding fathers never intended. While Jeffers says he promotes religious liberty for all, Saturday's presidential event did not reference any other faiths besides Christianity. Absolutely not. It was a Christian celebration. And that's where evangelicals like Jeffers see a difference in Trump, a president who they believe will move the religious right back into the middle of America. You've, thank you. I love you too, actually. In Dallas, Hannah Davis, Channel 8 News.